Yes, so hello guys, welcome to another episode of Sports Update Ghana with your boy Joseph Adamofi and I'm here with my good friend Where's your name? Yeah, Sarah Football and well we're coming to talk about the Black Stars game against Angola um, just coming to ask him five players he thinks could help the Black Stars win the game against Angola on Thursday, March 23 Salasi, so Tell us, uh, which five players you think can help the Black Stars win the game against Angola on Thursday? Okay, so thank you for having me on the channel. Uh, it's, it's great to be here to talk about the Black Stars once again. International break comes once in three months, so it's, it's good <laughs> to catch up on some international football. So let's go back to our last tournament, which was the World Cup. I think there are some departments that we were lacking in, it was clear. And one of them for me was in the goalkeeping department. So Jojo Walcott was missing due to his finger injury. And uh, Atizigi stepped in. Atizigi did well, and we still considered seven goals. Mm -hmm. So I think that position needs to be stabilized, if you ask me. So I would think that Jojo Walcott being fit would be good for us to keep a clean sheet and have some balance in that defense. I think he's one of the players I would pick to help us get uh, all three points versus Angola. Uh, yesterday he got injured, but yeah. he, he's fit now, according to the FA, he's ready for selection. If Chris sees him as fit enough, then he should be on the starting sheet for us. Our second player. Players, yeah. second player. So, uh, the second player would be in midfield. Uh, okay. Clearly, two players I would pick out Thomas Partey and Kudus Mohamed. I think it's clear Kudus is he's in the form of his life, scoring goals for fun, just two goals away from the top goal scorer in the Yeah. And Thomas Partey, as well, is on his way to winning his first title in his career, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. He has won the Europa League before yeah. that English title, English Premier League. That will be his first in his yeah. second season with the Ghana. But many, many have said uh, when it comes to the national team, party is different. Well, uh, that's what Chris Hitting addressed in his own way. He says fans would want a player in Team A to play like he does in Team B. But they, the technical team, know what they look out for. So they wouldn't clearly be judging him based on that. And he does things that go beyond the elegance that fans want him to show. So I still think he's still integral to the Black Stars. You cannot go past Thomas Party in that position. So what about Kudus? How do you think he should be deployed in the game? Well, uh, that will be after the technical team. But I feel he should be given the similar role he has been given at Ajax, where he he's given sort of a free role to yeah. express himself. So he, he's able to run around, have fun with the ball, pick out passes, finish when he gets a chance. So something similar should be what Chris Hinton should be, look to use him for. I think that will, be, will serve him best mm. and will serve us also well in that respect. Okay, let's talk about your fourth player. I would say Antoine Semenyo. Antoine Semenyo. Goal scoring too. It wasn't a big issue at the World Cup, but if we had a player who could be a threat up front, Inyaki was not that guy. Mm -hmm. All due respect to Inyaki Williams, a great player. He does well for his Spanish side. A long playing stint, six years, no injuries until recently. Inyaki is a good player, but he is not a great player. <laughs> Talking of. In terms of goal threat up yeah. front for the Black Stars, I think it's, it's not been a great time for him since he joined. I know he will pick up. I think Chris will give him a last chance, but Antoine Semenyo. It's much more of a goal threat for me. Let me tell you about Antoine Semenyo. Do you know how I see Antoine Semenyo? I see him like the Eden Jekyll of Manchester City back then. He comes on as a substitute and works the magic gets the goal. much more effective as a substitute. Yeah. I, I don't agree. I, I feel he hasn't even been started before. So yeah. yeah. So we cannot for a fact say that that's how much he'll be effective if he does get that. So. <laughs> and for sure, we can't be hundred percent sure about that. So I think okay. he should be given the chance, and we'll see how things go from there. You've mentioned four players. You started with goalkeepers, uh, Juju Walakot. He came to midfield. Kudos Pate. Then you mentioned Antoine Semenyo. Who will be your final player? Joseph Pinto. 
Joseph Pinto. Yeah, I think wow. this guy's also in the form of his life. He's got him, if I'm not mistaken, 10 assists, 12 goals. Yeah. He's also scoring a lot of goals, integral for his club side. I gave my starting 11 and I included Andrea Ayu. But I think the Andrea Ayu position should go to Joseph Pinto. Either Kamal Dean or Andrea Ayu, one of them should give up their position for Joseph Pinto. I think he deserves to start. So, yeah, he's one of my five players that should make a difference. Okay, so you heard from the man Selassie Fiawi and he has named his five players he believes that can make the change for the Black Stars in the game against Angola. Share your thoughts in the comment section who you think can make the change for the Black Stars to win the game against Angola. Mind you, this is the first game that the Black Stars will be playing since the start of the year 2023. It's been nice coming on my channel. Thank you for having Selassie me. Fiawi. Sahara Football, you guys should go there and subscribe to the channel as well. Well, until then, my name is Joseph Adam. If you thanks for watching Sports Update Ghana, please do subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. See you in the next one.